Hello, my beautiful randoms out there. It is Amanda. This is my channel, Amanda Random. And if you guys want to see the most epic, most awesome Dollar Tree haul, the first one that we're going to have on this channel for March 2019, then you guys need to just keep watching. We're going to start the haul over here because this is leaking, of course. And then we're going to take it over to the bed where I have way more room because I have so much stuff to show you. And you guys, I wanted to start with these, obviously, because this one right here is leaking. Um, but this is pink grapefruit, you guys. I thought the bottle was so cute. It's 750 milliliters, and I guess it's just a sparkling natural mineral water. So I love grapefruit, and I figured the bottle is cute. It's just, I love it. It's really awesome. So I wanted to give this a try, and it did tip over on my bed, so I wanted to bring it over here and show you guys that this is the first new product that I found. I apologize for the glare. Once we move over there, away from my messy desk right here, um, we'll get into some better lighting, hopefully, or some better background. Um, the next thing I wanted to show you guys were these new teas by Tradewinds, and they're called Slow Brewed with Real Tea Leaves, and it's just, this one is the sweet tea. It is 18.5 fluid ounces, and then also I picked up the raspberry tea, the unsweetened tea, and the green tea with honey. Now, these were the four that they had um, in this specific kind. So I did pick up one of each. My son, my husband, everybody in this house loves drinking tea. So I figured I'd grab one of each and they can try them all. And I think for a buck a piece, being that they're 18.5 fluid ounces each, that is a great price. So if you guys like tea, Definitely check your Dollar Trees and see if they have these. I can't tell you if they're good or not yet, but they're definitely worth the buck. And this right here, I cannot wait to try. So those are my first finds of March, you guys. Now let's take it over there and get into some other really good stuff, you guys. I found so many new amazing items. All right, you guys, we're back over on this side of the room, and I wanted to start with these three products because I want to show you how awesome these are. These are all as seen on TV type products, and I don't know if you've seen them at your Dollar Trees before, but they were all sitting out um, right over by all of their other cookware stuff, and they had rows and rows of these things. So this one right here is the Rapid Brands Rapid Egg Cooker, world's fastest and easiest way to cook eggs. Cook delicious eggs in the microwave. Make scrambled eggs, omelets, and more. It's dishwasher safe and reusable. So that is what it looks like. And you guys, for a buck, seriously? I mean, come on. Definitely worth a dollar. These are great to have and put away. You can give them away as gifts, things like that. I mean, I seriously would. Um, but I actually want to try this out. So here's this one that I picked up. The next one is also by this Rapid Brands, and this is the world's fastest and easiest way to cook oatmeal. So this is the Rapid Oatmeal Cooker. Cook perfect oatmeal in less than half the time. So that's cool. Here, I'll show you guys the back of the box on this one. Um, I think I, you know, I haven't seen many people haul these, so I don't know. These were the three that there were, and this one is also that Rapid Brands, and this one is the Brownie Maker. Make perfect brownies in the microwave in under four minutes. <sighs> I need to give this away. Can I just throw that out there? I need to give this away so that I ain't making brownies every single day in my microwave. So down here it shows you guys. It includes the Brownie Baker Pan and the Brownie Easy Ingredient Box. How cool! So here's the back, and it shows you... Oh, those look so yummy. Those look so yummy. Definitely need to give this away, but I bet you it works pretty well. So, like I said, I haven't seen many people hauling these, but I'm definitely intrigued to see if they work. And if you guys have found these in your Dollar Tree and you've given them a try, leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of these products. 
right, you guys, the next item I want to show you, uh, these are a repurchase. I have bought these before. This is Treat Me Bath Burst. And you guys, it's hashtag spa goals down here, if you can see on the bag. And this one is super cute. It is a pineapple. And someone that I know has a birthday coming up that loves pineapple. So this is going to be part of one of their gifts. And it's just really cute. It's a big old pineapple bath bomb. And come on, if you're a girl, you can't go wrong with bath bombs, can you? And these, you guys, come in, I think they had, what, um, unicorns and diamond shapes and all kinds of stuff. So never forget to check your Dollar Tree for things like this because I know personally my daughter Jasmine's used these before and she loves them. Okay, you guys, speaking of unicorns, check out this unicorn lollipop. Can you see the purple and there's glitter in there as well and the pink in the horn? It is so cute, you guys. Like, I don't know. I think this is adorable. These would make great little party gifts if you're going to have a birthday party or anything like that. And I mean, this thing is huge, you guys. This is heavy. Um, comparison to my palm, check out how big this actually really is. And I mean, it's a unicorn, so... Hello. All right, you guys. The next new products that I found are these adorable inflatable cup holders. You guys, how cute are these? I live in Wisconsin, if you guys don't know that already. And it has been so cold. There has been so much snow. And being able to see all of these out of the Dollar Tree it just got me so excited and so in the mood, so ready for summer. You guys, this flates inflates to eight inches and it holds your little can so you can float in your pool and have your drink next to you. I just think these are adorable. So I did pick up this one, which is the flamingo. And then this one as well, which is this, this cute little island looking thing with the palm tree. And of course, you can't go wrong. You can't forget the pineapple. You guys, how cute are these? I've seen a couple different people hauling these. Um, and I was so stoked when I finally found them at my Dollar Tree. All right, more new products alert. You guys, these are just absolutely adorable. I'm obsessed with the color. I'm obsessed with all of it. These are just really super cute notebooks. Check it out. I do believe they are. Does it tell me on here? I can't remember. They are Greenbrier International products. Um, this one just says strong women make waves and can you see there's like little seashells back there and then this side part right here so you guys can see this is the flap that you lift open and that is how you open up your notebook super super adorable so I did pick up one of each there was the I would call it mermaid one there's also the donut one with all these like I don't know. I would call it like holographic almost, but you know, just that iridescent, maybe that's the term um, for these words. I love it for these words, for these colors. And this one obviously is the donut and the little flap opens up to your notebook. And then this one right here, again, loving these colors. This one is just a cute cactus and it continues with the really cool colors across the back. So I did pick those up as well. And for a buck a piece, you guys, if you want to find cute things for school, for work, for your desk, just to carry in your purse, to use wherever, Dollar Tree is the place to look, you guys. They're always coming out with these really cute, awesome designs. All right, you guys, the next thing I want to show you are these really pretty nails. These are from Sassy and Chic, and I just thought this pattern, you guys, can you see? These are super adorable. I am loving these. I thought these were so cute that I did pick up two of them because, like I said, for real, that pattern, super cute. I do not have anything like that, so I picked up two of those. I do think I might have more nails. I just don't know where they are because there's just a whole sea of Dollar Tree right behind me. Okay, you guys, sparkle glitter alert. Check these out. How awesome are these, you guys? 
These are backpack tags. So you can use these for luggage tags. You can put them on your purse. You can use them on your backpack. You can put them wherever you want. And it just says name, address, city, and country. And check out that color. There's a pink one. Now these might be hard to tell on camera, but the top one is more pink and the bottom one is more purple. There were also um, some teal ones. I thought I grabbed some teal ones. Maybe they're in a different bag. I'm not sure. But you guys, these are so blinging. I love them. Hello, Miss Zoe. You want to say hi to everybody and just ruin everything and walk on all my Dollar Tree products? Well, of course you do. That's your thing, isn't it? That's your thing, Miss Kitty. All right, moving on. Okay, guys, the next thing I want to show you is this little hair styling kit from Basic Solutions, and it just has this cute little hairbrush, and it's almost in, like, a metallic light purple color. I don't know how well it's picking up on the camera, but it is a really pretty color, so it does have the brush and the comb, and it is a kind of smaller in size, but the reason we picked this up is because Jasmine, my daughter, wanted this for her dolls, and it was just kind of the perfect size for her. So we picked that up. And for a dollar, you get a brush and a comb. Cha-ching. Score. Okay, you guys, the hunt is finally over. I saw so many people hauling these fur flops. And I was just like, I have to find these. I absolutely have to find these. My daughter wanted some. I wanted some. I'm like, please, oh, please, oh, please let me find these. And I did. The only problem is... The ones that I found all only went up to a large size, and that is a 910. This girl right here has herself some big old feet. So usually I would probably have to wear like an 11. So I'm not sure if they're going to fit me, but I did get a pair for my daughter. I got a pair for even my son. Like seriously, he'd probably rock these around the house. He'll probably be mad at me for saying that, but so I spilt the tea. All right, you guys, these are absolutely amazing. These are, excuse me, these are called fur flops, and they say, make your feet happy, and they're so soft, you guys. Feeling them is so soft. It's like, oh, it's amazing, and the bottoms are pretty nice. I mean, for a buck a piece, that is a pretty good score, I just want to say. Um, I think this color right here is just loud and obnoxious, and that's probably why I love it. Love, 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 love it. And they just have so much, like, authenticness to them <laughs> for some reason. They just scream, heck yeah. I really hope that these fit my feet. So I did get, like I said, um, this is kind of more of the camo design, like that one. This one also is the camo design, but in a, you know, more girly color with the pinks in there. And then this one right here that will fit Jazz is just the stripes, but definitely along the same color scheme as these. And I just think, you guys, these are super cute and a great buy for a dollar a piece. I really don't care what anyone thinks. If they would fit me, I would totally rock them. Mm-hmm. You know it. I would. You guys, I did end up finding a couple stickers. I thought I grabbed some more, but maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. They still could be in the the mess of bags behind me. But this is um, a Jot brand sticker. You get 56 in here. I love these stickers, you guys. They're customizable, basically. You can use them, um, write like the date or the month if you want to use them in a, in a journal or something like that. You can use them in your planners. You can make little tags out of them. They have them so you can fold them right here and make tabs for different books or notebooks, journals, anything. I think these are super cute and I love this purple and blue color scheme that they have going on. Um, and the next ones I picked up were the Happy Easter stickers. There's 20 in here. Some of them do have the little googly eyes. And they're just super cute with the chicks and the bunnies. And I'll probably be using these in my journals when I do my um, Fobonichi and things like that. So if you want to see those used again, you'll have to check out one of those Fobonichis. And you guys, I absolutely love the stickers at the Dollar Tree. Definitely, definitely, if you're a sticker freak like me, definitely check the Dollar Tree because you're always going to find something really cute. Speaking of stickers, 
and cuteness, you guys, I always, always, always check the Dollar Tree for any of these like peel and stick wall decal stickers because they're amazing. You can use these for so many things. I sound like a broken record. I say this every time. You don't have to just put these on your wall. You can put these on a mirror. You can put these on your headboard. You could put these on your computer desk. You can put them in a frame and hang this on your wall. You can do so many different things with these stickers. Put them on the front of notebooks. Um, put them on the front of your binders. Anything, you guys. So I always check this section out and I always pick them up. So as you can see, this one's got the cute cactus and the succulents and it says, can't touch this. Let us just, oh, how amazing, you guys. And here's all of them on the back as well. Seriously, I just, I love these. I cannot get enough of these stickers. Um, the next thing I have was this coloring book and it's quotes to color, which I thought was really awesome. And this one says, every artist was first an amateur. And is that not the truth? Heck yeah. So this is just filled with various quotes and pictures. Life is a beautiful ride. So now this is also a great, great thing where you can come in and you can sit and color these and then you could frame them as well, hang them in your bathroom, all kinds of really cute ideas of things that you could do with these. Every moment matters. You could color this, you could paint this. Um, I'm not sure how thick the paper is, so you might not be able to get it too wet if you want to do watercolor, but you could print out little pictures and put them in this little hanging part and frame this. Like you guys, there's so many different things you can do with all of these books. And I just thought this was super cute. So I wanted to pick this up. I love the good vibes every day, all day. One with the feathers. Awesome. Why don't you want to turn? Get lost in the right direction. Awesomeness. Okay, so this book I did pick up and I ended up finding... Zoe, what are you doing? Uh, you're always in the middle of my stuff. <laughs> um, I did pick these up for Jasmine. She'll probably say, Mom, these are for little girls because, you know, she's eight now, so she's not a little girl anymore. So she says... But I thought these were adorable, and I absolutely had to pick them up anyway. Like I said, both of them say Just for Girls, and it is a coloring book with over 100 stickers. So when you open this up, it's just these really cute coloring pages, and I thought I would color these. If Jazzy won't color them, then I'll color them. But most likely, we'll end up sitting down together one night and coloring these together. And they're just really super cute, you guys. And... In, I think it's the front. Yep. And then here in the front are all of the, the stickers. I just thought that was so cute for a buck. Any little girl would love this. So I did pick that one up and then this one as well. And I'll show you the stickers in this one. And then fairies, princesses, kitties. There's a kitty too. <laughs> um, so just really cute, you guys, for a dollar a piece. And they have the little, I would call it a little carrying handle. I just thought that was really cute. These are great things that you could put in Easter baskets if you're making Easter baskets for little girls. So definitely go and check these out as well at your Dollar Tree. Um, I'm, I do believe, yep, I do. Um, I did find an Alice in Wonderland book, you guys. And let me tell you, I love, love, love Alice in Wonderland. And then I realized down here it says it is a pop-up book. So I knew then for sure, no matter what, that it was coming home with me. Check this book out, you guys. I think this is adorable. It's got the little Mad Hatter tea party. Oh, look at how cute. I'm just, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I had to pick this one up, and I do believe they had a couple other ones there. Um, they had Robin Hood, and I think that was the only other one I seen, because if I seen The Wizard of Oz, I definitely would have picked that one up too. But yes, I did just grab the Alice in Wonderland, but you guys, definitely worth a dollar. Um, I also picked these up as well. This is 
Now, you guys, I will admit these crayons are not the best crayons. They're really kind of waxy, but if you need them around, it's always good to have them. And for 48, you guys, I could not pass this up. It is just a 48 count of all the different color crayons, but check it out. You were not cool back in my day if your crayons did not have the built-in sharpener. You guys, throwback right here. It's got the built-in sharpener. They may not be Crayola, okay, but they're crayons no less. And the built-in sharpener! Okay, guys, I ended up grabbing these as well. These are the Toolbench hardware brand, and I thought this was really cool. They were putting all of these out. This is the foam tape weather stripping. Hello, Wisconsin. Need this all the time. Um, so it helps to seal out drafts and humidity, blocks out and inserts dust and pollen, um, all kinds of stuff. It helps with the gaps around the doors and the windows, so I did pick up two of these. I know that these are kind of, I don't want to say super expensive or anything like that, but I know that we've picked up this weather stripping before, like at Fleet Farm, and it's not expensive, but it definitely was not only a dollar. And if you guys can see in this, this whole thing between my fingers is a huge roll of this weather stripping. So I did pick that up. And the other one, I grabbed two of those and two of these as well because this is the Toolbench Hardware Window Insulation Kit. Now, it's a clear insulation shrink film, seals out drafts and humidity, and insulates up to two windows. So it gives you the instructions. It tells you how to do it. Um, really simple, easy instructions. And I picked up two of these because, like I said, you guys, seriously? A buck a piece? Thank you, DT. Okay, so should we just call it out right now? If you guys really want some super cheap, super cute decorations for any month, for any holiday, go check out your Dollar Tree, you guys. I hear so many people be like, oh my gosh, where did you get that? And I'm like, oh, I grabbed it at the Dollar Tree. And they're like, what? You got that at the Dollar Tree? Seriously, come on now. How adorable is this? You would not think this is necessarily only a buck. It is super, super cute. I did get this one in pink and this one in blue for decorations, you guys. And I don't care. I think they're adorable. And I love the decorations that they come out with at the Dollar Tree. Um, I want to look here because I thought in one of these bags, I'm pretty sure I have more decorations somewhere. I'll have to find them, and we'll have to just keep going. Um, let's see here. What else can I grab out and show you guys? And like I said, I will have some more of these. I just don't know where they are right now. Um, I did grab. These are also new. These are Mr. Brownie Rich Moist Fudgy Chocolate Brownie Bites. Mmm, try me hot. Well, 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 well. This type 1 diabetic right here probably can't try these, but I bet you my kids will probably love them. It looks super yummy, and like I said, I have not seen these before at the Dollar Tree, so I figured I picked them up and I would let my kids be the judge. Moving on, you guys, I want to show you these kid socks that I got. These are for my daughter, Jasmine. Um, they are in the size 7 to 2, and you do get three pairs in each one, you guys. I thought these were super cute. This, the pink with the flowers, a plain white, and then we got some stripes, so I picked those up. This pair right here, I love this little detail on the top, the little ruffle. We've got a emoji face, a plain white pair, and then another pair with the stripes. And then this one, okay, I had to pick this up because if anybody watches my channel, you probably know that I am a Bob's Burgers fan. I absolutely love that show. And, well, there's burgers and fries on these socks. And Jasmine is a fry fanatic. So I picked these up as well for her. And then I grabbed some of these, you guys, because these were clearance to $0.25 cents each. And they also come with three pairs of socks in them. So now they might not be the best socks, but you know what? When you're in a bind and you don't have your socks matched and you know, your mom's a slacker, then you have some of these extra pairs laying around if you need them. And for 25 cents for three pairs of socks, seriously, who wouldn't grab those?
I might, maybe you shouldn't answer that, but I grabbed them. Okay. I grabbed them. So can we just talk about the cuteness that is in front of your face right now, you guys? Seriously, how adorable. This is a cute little box. It is from a Greenbrier International product, and it's just diff they just call it decor. And it is follow your dreams. I love this, this color. I wish it showed up on camera, but it's just really cute. I love these. I just picture these, like, if I was a teen... I would probably, well, you know what? I am definitely not a teen, but I still want these all over my own bedroom. They're so cute, you guys. Like I said, this one says follow your dreams. And this one right here is almost like a gold. It almost looks rose gold, but I would just go with gold. And this one right here says be your own kind of beautiful. Oh, I think these are so cute. I think they're amazing. I bought both of these to go in my daughter's bedroom. And I know that she'll definitely like them. And they're new items, so score. Um, here is a, another tote. This is from Main Street Totes. It is considered just a cosmetic bag, but, you know, you don't need to put just cosmetics in here. You can put whatever you want in here. Super cute, and it's really, it's, it's so, it's not cheap feeling. I will give it that. Like, these are made really nicely, you guys. And this is also going to go with um, some of my other pineapple gifts that I am putting away. I just thought this one was super cute. You can throw, you know, anything in here. doesn't just have to be makeup. It could be school supplies. Anything you want. Moving on to our next product, you guys. This is also a new, new item. At least I have never seen these before. This is travel earbuds for on the go. Lightweight and comfortable. And it comes with the little keychain part. You guys, seriously, check these out. So you, you get a pair of really cute purple earbuds. And they're in this cute little container that you can hook onto your purse. You can hook it onto your backpack. You can hook it onto your bag. Anything you want. And... It says it's designed for use with most portable audio device jacks with a 3.5 millimeter auto audio jack. So that is really awesome. I think that is something that, you know, this cute little case, here's my reasoning. Even if the earbuds don't work that well, this little case is so worth the buck for me to put my good earphones or earbuds that do work. I could put them inside that and throw this in my purse and not have to worry about them getting all um, tangled up with anything else. And it's cute. It's it's definitely worth the book. And like I said, even if you only just use the little cute case, score. All right. We have the cutest little Mr. Squirrel butt here at Burr. He is a Greenbrier International product and he is a considered solar decor you guys check him out you turn the on button on <laughs> see what i did there and you probably can't see maybe you can in the video but his eyes are already glowing and you can turn it off here's the little panel in the back i have so many of these you guys and I, when i saw the little turtle the, oh my goodness a turtle fail okay hmm I digress. When I saw this cute little squirrel, I had to pick him up because seriously, how adorable is he? Like on a scale of one to 10, he's a 10. Come on. He's a 10. All right. The next item I picked up was this super cute, just adorable unicorn figurine. And my aunt collects unicorns. And I thought she absolutely needed this little beauty on her dresser or along with all of her other unicorns. And for a dollar, you guys, how cute is that? I like completely am in love with him or her, whatever you are. The next thing I grabbed was also some more decor, and this is just a pineapple, but it is an adorable pineapple. Can we just say that? Yes, we can. <laughs> um, super cute. It would look great on any desk, dresser, anything like that. And then, you guys, I picked these gems up, and I'm so mad because the color is, of course, not going to show. But maybe if I hold them up. These are little, they're just considered like a ceramic tray. 
and obviously pineapple again here. And this one's really cute. I love, love, love the colors in these. So I picked this one up and this one. I think I love this one even more than the other one because it's got the yellow and the purples and magentas in it. So definitely had to pick these up. Excuse you, Miss Thing. And a buck a piece. You can't go wrong. These are great to leave. Like, if you're like me, I take my rings off when I do my dishes. And you can put one of these up in your windowsill, throw your jewelry on them, put it next to your bed, put your earrings on them, anything like that. Think they are definitely adorable and worth a buck a piece. I also grabbed some basic solutions. You guys, these are just 40, um, a 40 count, but they're just hair elastics. These things go missing in my house. It's, I can't even explain. Like, seriously, they're just everywhere and anywhere that they're not supposed to be. But we lose them so fast, and 40 of them for a buck definitely can't go wrong for that price. I also grabbed some Crest. This is the 3D Whitening Fluoride Anti-Cavity Toothpaste. Um... I don't know, removes up to 80% of surface, surface stains, and it's called Radiant Mint. So I needed some new toothpaste, so I grabbed this one to give it a try. One of the other things I love finding at the Dollar Tree are the Blu-rays, you guys. They come in, usually you can find them, that have the DVD and the digital copy. So it's Blu-ray, DVD, and digital copy. This one is Hitchcock. And I just, I didn't, I know I don't have this one and it has Anthony Hopkins and Scarlett Johansson and all of them in it, Jessica Biel. So I thought I would definitely grab this one because I love going to the ultraviolet sites and using these codes that come with them. So then I can have my digital, have this movie download, downloaded. I, I do know English, I swear. Um, I can always have this downloaded then and just on any type of media device, be it my phone or a tablet or a computer, log into my Ultraviolet account, and there you go. There's your movie right there. So I did pick that up as well. Guys, I was not lying when I said this was going to be one heck of a Dollar Tree, so I really hope that you're not getting bored. I hope that you have a drink and a snack or something, because I still have quite a bit to show you guys. So... With no further ado, let's jump right back into this, and I want to show you guys this. This is Himalayan pink salt in a fine grain. You guys, there is a pound of this. Can you see? Can you guys see it right here in the little window right there how finely grained that salt is? You guys, this salt is amazing. This is Salt 84. Um, it is vegan certified and kosher certified, non-GMO verified. Um, this this is awesome, you guys. This is 100% naturally pure, and the bag is cute. Like, really? It's just, I don't know. For a dollar, heck yeah. Of course I was grabbing this. Um, my husband's seen this already, and he was like, why didn't you grab more of these? Uh, he loves to use this pink Him Himalayan salt. So when I go back, if this is still there, I will definitely, definitely be grabbing more of this. I think I need a bigger bed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Um, the next product I want to share with you guys is the Vaseline Lip Therapy. Now, this is just the original, but you guys, I love this stuff. Um, I haven't used it for a while. My mom loves this, though, and I've been addicted to the Burt's Beeswax again. I kind of flip-flop. But, you guys, this is just Vaseline Lip Therapy with Petroleum Jelly, and that's a pretty big... You know, that's a little, what is it? Uh, 4.8 grams, so it's 0.16 ounces, and a dollar. Heck yeah. So I did pick up two. These are great to throw and keep in your purse or anything like that. And I'm quite sure my mom's going to be stealing both of them, so I probably won't even have them in my purse. The next thing I grabbed was the little magnet that says Fine Apple. And you guys, these are actually... These are like a ceramic with the big magnet on the back. So I thought those were super cute. They had so many different other ones too, you guys. It was insane. Um, the next thing I grabbed were some of these light bulbs. They're 60 watt. They're the two clear chandelier bulbs. And they are by, 
am I even in frame? Probably not. They are by Sunbeam. And unfortunately, I hate these little things, but these are the only kinds of, of light bulbs that my kids' ceiling fans use. And they always burn out. So I always like to have some of these extra on hand because, you know, at some point they're going to become ruminant. They're going to be coming and running in my room saying, Mom, my light burned out. Fix it. Fix it. <sighs> okay. I'm get I feel like this is just going and going and going. But I hope at least that you guys are seeing some new items and I hope that you're finding some new things that you want to add to your wish list and things like that. So moving on, I found this adorable. Here we go again with the pineapples, but it is a really cute pom-pom clip. It does have the little clippy here at the end, and it is a pom-pom. Check out the color, you guys. It's so furry. Super cute, so definitely worth the buck. That can go over here by all the other pineapple stuff. Um, I did find this. This is a new brand now that I've seen that the Dollar Tree is coming out with, and it's Sophie. Um, they had so many different hair products by this brand, but this one I picked up because it was super cute and kind of retro looking, and I love the brown, and it's just really cute. You can wear it in your hair, and you have the little ends that hang, and if I can show you here in the middle... You can see there's just a, the bungee that connects the ends. So I think that will be super cute to use. Something cute to wear like in your hair in the summer. The next items that I ended up grabbing, you guys, were these. Now, let me tell you, I actually smelt some of these in the store. And I was completely surprised at how good they actually smelt. So... This one right here is the EAD Blue Jeans. It's compared to, I should say. This one is called Blue Wear, but it is compared to Blue Jeans by Versace. It comes in a really cute case, and obviously this is for men, so this is going to go, I think, to one of my sons. I'm not sure which one. And then this one right here is also um, a men's fragrance by EAD, and it's compared to the version of Gucci Guilty by Gucci. And this one is called Two Rings. You guys, these seriously smell really, really good. Um, I was pleasantly surprised at how well they actually smell. And this one right here is for women. This is EAD, but this one is compared to, mm -hmm, let's get all bougie up in here. Bougie Dollar Tree for you guys. <laughs> This is compared to Chanel number no. five, but this one is called Seven After. Mm-hmm. Or After Seven. How would you guys say that? I don't even know. After Seven or Seven After. <laughs> what a debacle. All right, you guys. So I did find those as well. And that one, I don't think I smelt that. Yes, I did. I did smell that one in the store. And it was pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. Um, the next item I want to show you guys is these Surefresh containers, you guys. I love these. This has the clip lock closure. So, bam. Can you hear that? And it does it all the way around. These are really great. I love these because you can microwave in them. They are microwavable freezer and top, ra top rack dishwasher safe. Man, I wish I had a dishwasher, but in this house... I'm the dishwasher. So these are great if you find these at the Dollar Tree. And even they're heavy duty, too. I mean, they're not like those thin, cheap plastics that are just going to bend right away. These are pretty heavy duty and sturdy. So I picked one of those up. Um, I got some sweet tarts. These are chicks, ducks, and bunnies. And... You know, Easter is right around the corner, you guys. I just, I can't even believe that. It's March already. So I got those. Um, Grabbed some Panasonic batteries. These are the double A's. There are four in here. I'm sorry if I'm going kind of fast, you guys, but I don't want to sit here and bore you guys forever. I also found the, by Driver's Choice, these are the car air fresheners. And these are cherry. And let me tell you, these smell amazing. And this comes with, what, three, did I say? Yeah, there's three in here. I love hanging one of these in my laundry room because it makes it smell so good in there. And they smell great in the car. 
So I also picked those up. I don't even know what else I can grab. There's so much stuff. So much stuff. I do have, um, I had to pick these up because these are Despicable Me and they are by Inkworks. And you guys, these are really super cute pens. It says five gel pens in here and they all, I believe, are the color of the cap. So check it out. How cool is that? I had to pick those up. Um, I think Jasmine would love using these in her journal or anything like that. So I grabbed those for her. I think I have another. Yep, I did. I ended up grabbing two of these because I figured if she uses one, I might keep one for one of my pen cases because they're gel pens. And, well, they're awesome. So I grabbed two of those. I just keep finding more and more stuff in these bags, and I'm like, I don't even remember buying all of this. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Okay, let's make some room. You guys, you're crowding me. Back it up. Back it up. Uh, if you guys watched my one of my recent vlogs, you will see that I went to Walmart, and I found myself a oil diffuser. And you guys, I have to tell you right now, I apologize for the crinkling of these bags. I'm doing, I'm multitasking over here, okay? Okay, people, if you're a mom or a wife or alive and have a heartbeat, then you understand. Um, so anyway, I did buy an oil diffuser. I did not know if I would like it, but you guys, I'm absolutely obsessed with that thing. And I just, I cannot get enough. So the oils for it are kind of expensive but let me tell you what you guys check out what i found at the dollar tree mm -hmm. yeah at the dollar tree let's start with this one this is the luminescence brand and this one is fresh linen you guys <gasps> oh i can't even wait i can't even wait like i just want to start collecting this stuff i want to cl start collecting fragrance fragrances if you guys use any in your diffusers and you love them let me know in the comments below like what your favorites are or if you mix any you know if you want to get all technical and if you know do you do a drop of this and a pinch of that and a dab of this let me know so okay sidetracked i digress i did find the fresh linen also from Luminescence, the vanilla. And you guys, these are 0.5 fluid ounce containers, like little jars of oil here. Awesome. And I did get the apple cinnamon. And if anyone knows me, you know that my favorite scent in the world is like the apple cinnamon smell. So of course, I picked up two of these. And then also I found one little lonely black cherry, and I cannot wait to try this one as well, in the oil diffuser. I, I'm just, I'm so, so stoked that I found those, you guys. Cannot wait to try them. Absolutely cannot wait. Uh, let's see what else I have in these bags. Too much stuff, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like, this is so long already. But if you want to find it, dude, you're going to find it here over at Amanda Random's channel. Because if it's there, I probably bought it. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is just one of those really cute perler bead um, packs, and it's called the Melty Bead Kit, and there it is right there, that cute little, it, the cute little bunny, there we go, spit it out, the cute little Easter bunny, and it does give you the, um, what is this, what do I want to, what is this, you guys, help me out here, words, I need them, it gives you, here we go, thank you, contents, it gives you one pegboard, 225 melty beads, one sheet of the ironing paper, one design sheet, and one instruction sheet. Bam! There it is, you guys. So now Jazz has a cute little project she can do. We have so many, so many perler beads, but super cute. Something that would also be cute to be thrown in like an Easter basket, you know, hint, hint, wink, wink. Okay, guys, the next stuff I want to show you all is some cosmetic stuff that I haven't seen before. Um, so I did pick this up. This is the LA Colors. Now, this is tinted and scented, and it is CBL C230 in mint, and it is just called Color Balm by LA Colors. And how cute is that little container? So, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to pick that up. There were a lot of different colors of these, you guys. So I did just pick that one up. 
And I ended up finding this silk finish lipstick by Wet n Wild Focus Camera. And this one is called Pink Ice. And I don't really know if I'll like it. I am more of a like neutral kind of colored tan kind of lipstick person. But I mean, every girl needs a pink lipstick, right? So I'm definitely going to try this one out. And it does have the silk finish. So we will give it a try. The next one I ended up picking up was the L.I. 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 The L.A. Colors Shiny Lip Gloss. And this is Rich, Shiny, and Glossy. And this is in CBLG 243 Glimmer. So that's kind of like way more my style. Just kind of, you know, like a brownish natural kind of color. I don't know. But it does definitely look pretty. So I grabbed that one. And then also, this is the Aziza, or Azaza, I don't know how to say it, but, you know, work with me here. And it's Aziza Studio Professional Lipstick. Can you see the color in here at all? It's kind of like a tannish color, and this is in the color, dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, seduction. <laughs> Cringy alert. All right, you guys, so this is a lip color, and it says, won't feather or bleed. I like the little case that it comes in. I think it's super cute, so I did pick this up as well. Um, let's see here. Do we have more? We do. Now, this is a color that I absolutely love, so this is a repeat purchase for me. This is the Wet n Wild Breeze. I absolutely love this color because it's like, you can tell that you have lipstick on, but you can't definitely, it's not like bam in your face red, you know, lipstick. It's just a real neutral, really pretty color. And I absolutely love this. If you guys want a real nice color that gives your lips some shine and just a hint of color, this color right here is amazing. How many times did I just say color in a row? Um, the next thing I picked up was the dark blonde and it is the brow pencil. And it defines and fills in your brows. And you guys, if you know anything about me, I have absolutely no idea about how to do your eyebrows. Like, I'm just, I'm just ridiculous when it comes to that. I'm ridiculous really when it comes to any makeup. I really don't know what I'm doing unless it's eyeliner. So, speaking of, this is the Black Professional Slim Eye Pencil. And it defines eyes with a precise line. And if you look here in the cover, you get a little um, sharpener, which is awesome. And you also get two pencils in here. So I think that's definitely worth the buck. And I also picked up this one. This is in black, and it is an LA Colors liquid liner with the ultra fine tip. And it is the liquid eyeliner. So I love using liquid eyeliner, and I'm pretty sure I've gotten one of these before, but I don't remember or not. But now I have an extra one to throw in my travel bag or something like that, just so I have one on hand. The next thing of cosmetic stuff I bought, let's see here. This one is a medium one moisturizing foundation from Sassy and Chic. So there it is. It is what it is. It's a moisturizing foundation. Can't get, you know, you can't get any, any more descriptive than that. Apply and blend with your fingertips or whatever you want to blend with. So all right. Do I, I still have more? Oh, my God. Somebody help me. I need help. <laughs> um, this is also from LA Colors, you guys. And this one is, ooh, this one's pretty. It says Sunflower, and it is a three-color eyeshadow. How pretty are those colors? Okay, okay. I'm not hating on me for buying this because it's kind of pretty. So there is this one. And then I think this is the last one, but I may be wrong. But I hope I'm not because <laughs> I have a problem. All right, you guys, this one is Nashville, and it is the Aziza Studio, but can you see the colors in here? Can you see those colors? Oh, yeah, I can see those colors, and I don't know. I'm kind of loving it. So I've been really into learning how to play with makeup and pretending that 
you know, even though I am a girl, I know absolutely nothing about it. And that's okay. Okay. That is okay. That's what YouTube is for people. And that is also what the Dollar Tree is for. Get yourself some cheapo makeup and play with it. Wreck it. Wreck your face. Do what you want. Learn something. Okay. Life is all about learning stuff. Oh, look at this. Look at this. You guys, I seriously think I might need to just like save some of this for like another time. But mama didn't raise no quitter. So, so here we go. Don't mind the bags. Oh, oh girl, check it out. I lied. Liar in the house. We also got some color balm in the color bubblegum. Bam. So we got bubblegum and we got mint right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm pretty sure you guys know that that is it. Okay. Okay. I want to jump into these. <laughs> jump. No pun intended. Let me grab this first. I found me some fitness jump ropes. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is a fitness jump rope with plastic handles. And it does say that it is nine feet long. So... It was cute. It was, you know, I'm usually not a pink person, but this can be like pinkish purple or I'm going to pretend it is. And I'm really into trying to work out and try different things and see if I like them. And you know what? I figured it might be time for this butt of mine to get to hop in. So I want to try this. Um, they had a whole end rack of you, of all these different fitness things, you guys, and I was seriously kind of floored by it. It does have pretty nice handles on it, even. They're real thin. They're real easy to grab and hold on to. The next thing that I found that went with all of this is the sports waist pouch, and it has an adjustable closure. You can carry your money, your phone, your keys, and more. Now, let me tell you guys something real quick. Um, I am a type 1 diabetic, and I wear an insulin pump, and I know a lot of people out there that watch my channel that are type 1s. These bands like this cost us quite a bit of money, and we can use them to put our pump inside, and you know what? This Without zipping it all the way to the end, just leaving enough room for your tubing, you guys, you could totally rock this underneath your clothes and carry your insulin pump in it. Bam, you guys, for a dollar. Seriously, for a buck. And I just wanted to share that because I, I just thought that was a great idea, you know, like not to pat myself on the back or toot my own horn, but toot toot. All right. The next thing I ended up grabbing was the resistance band, and this is great for building upper and lower body strength, and it is 40 inches long, and as you can see, this rock star chick up here just working it out, well, I got some color-coordinated products, and there you go, you guys. I'm already losing weight just by looking at this, so my money was, like, totally well spent. Okay, guys, I knew, I knew somewhere in here there was more Easter stuff. Check this cute thing out, you guys. This decoration is absolutely adorable. It is blinging up here with all of this glitter. Look at this little bunny. And now this hangs. It is all wooden. And the top has a little ribbon. And then each little egg hangs down. They're attached with this cute little ribbon in between. And check out all these eggs. How cute is that, you guys? I seriously... I fell in love. And to me, this definitely right here does not look like it costs a dollar. I mean, this is actually made out of wood. So um, I've decided that I have entirely way too much stuff because there's how much still over there. Um, and over in that corner, I did find some corned beef and hash and I think some... I'm not even sure what the other ones are. There's some cheese and noodles. There's some of those fruit is it something? They're, they're the mini, they're the mini like peanut bars. So you guys, I'm going to save some of this and I'm going to show you my last products because, well, like I said, let me step back here a little bit. Mama's got some problems and we're running out of space. 
Um, I do want to show you guys these as my last products, though, because they're brand new, and I'm absolutely in love with the packaging, with everything about them. So these are the Bolero products, and they're mini bath bombs, you guys. This is in watermelon mint. <gasps> Seriously, watermelon mint. Can you see that? Like, the color, everything. And you do get three of them in there. So I picked that up. Also, the other Bolero product in the watermelon mint were the cleansing facial wipes. Definitely had to pick those up to go with it. And then, these are so cute, you guys. I just can't get over it. The other Bolero product, also watermelon and mint, is the revitalizing shower gel. And you guys, there's like 16.9 fluid ounces in this thing. So, definitely worth it. And I also grabbed in the same watermelon mint. This is super cute. Can you see this? Like, seriously, this is the revitalizing hand wash. How cute would that look in anybody's bathroom? Like, hello, bathroom, kitchen sink, whatever. I don't care. These are adorable. And I think there's one more product left. Those are all of them, though, as far as the Bolero products go, but I had to pick them up in that watermelon mint. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of watermelon, but it was a brand new scent. I've never seen it before, so I definitely wanted to give it a try. And I'm going to end this massive Dollar Tree haul, you guys. If you're still here, thank you so, so, so very much for watching. Um, I'm going to end it, though, right here with this, and this is the Daily Defense. You guys, this is 22.5 fluid ounces, and this is fresh rose with jojoba oil. Oh, yeah, body wash, you guys. This is, first of all, it's a beautiful color. It's really cute bottle. Would look really cute in your shower, and it does smell pretty dang good. So, you guys, I'm going to just have to end this right here because... Like I said, I just don't want to make this an hour and a half long video. I do hope that you guys found some products somewhere in here that you've added to your wish list or that you liked or just enjoyed seeing. And you know you're going to hear it here. I'm going to say it. Stay random, my loves. I hope you all have an amazing month of March. And I seriously cannot thank you guys all enough for the love and support that you show my channel. So with that being said, stay random, guys. I love you, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.